Oh, careful. Let's be really careful with that one. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Halloween just ended, which means your spooky cube just isn't doing it for you anymore. Well, no fear. You know what happens right after Halloween ends? The Christmas season begins. But before we get too into the Christmas spirit, let's take a look at the GAN 13. Mmm, the failed soft piece design, they put it on the box instead. Oh, it's also magnetic. How many magnets do you need in one box? How many boxes do you need in one box? All right, what everyone's been asking me to review, the GAN 13. Oh, yeah, uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a little while to get used to this. That's a J firm. Okay, I'm kind of getting this. You have to turn really lightly. Like I can't turn too hard because uh, there's this system here, which is auto turning. Magnets don't usually actively move the cube. They're usually just there for supports, but in this cube, they've definitely made it so that the cube does some turning on its own. So if you're too forceful with it, then it can counter some of your own turning. But then if you're very light with it, then you can kind of let it guide you a little bit as well. And I think that makes it feel much better. It's good. It's just, I'm really not used to it. I'm trying to imagine somebody who actually mains a GAN cube and then uses this and is like, oh, this is great. But then for me, since I never really use GAN cubes as much as before, then it's a really, really weird experience because the GAN cubes are so different from all the other ones. Product placement. Let's do a solve on the GAN 13. And as always, my very first solve determines if this is a good cube or a bad cube. Ah! If I'm not careful, this cube's gonna turn on its own, but I think that is good. This would have been a good solve, but I was stressing on that A perm because I am not used to this cube. This cube is kind of just the GAN cube pushed to an extreme. It is so fast and it feels so light to turn and the magnets <laughs> do a lot. What? What? Dan, please. This has got to be one of the most satisfying cubes to turn if I'm turning well. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a big if. But when I'm turning well, it's so good. And yeah, pretty much the main difference compared to the GAN 12 is it just feels a lot lighter and faster. This one feels uh, like a little bit slower. It's easier to control, also has that magnet thing, but it does mean you have to push a little bit harder on your turns. And I know some people like just having the cube be as fast as possible so that they can be very relaxed during the turns. And in some ways being relaxed makes it easier to not make mistakes. Let's take a look at the inside and see what has changed. The core of the GAN 12 versus the GAN 13, I mean, they look identical to me. The corner pieces have this long magnet that attracts the magnet in the core, and that's how it keeps snapping back into place by itself. However, the edge piece, I don't know what this magnet is doing. There is no magnet in the middle there, so this edge is not really being attracted to anything. And if you're 45 degrees into a turn, I imagine now it's really attracting the magnet. Why would you want it to stabilize at 45 degrees? That doesn't really make any sense to me. So maybe there's something I don't understand with the edge magnet, but it seems like it's not really doing anything useful. And the length of the corner magnets looks pretty much the same as on the GAN 12, so it should do pretty much the same thing. This thing comes in the box. Let's see what we have here. Of course, most of that space is for a cube bag. Where are my adjustment tools? Oh, are there no tools? I need tools. I need instructions. Okay. Hope you can read Chinese. 216 settings. They brag about how easy this is as if you're gonna try all 216 settings. Look, there's a tool. Where's my tool? Hey guys, look what I found. We can adjust the magnet strength here and what this is gonna do is affect the length of that corner magnet right there. It's retracting, that is two. And then let's go, and what the, oh, this tool sucks. 
Oh, it goes all the way up to six? All right, here's one versus six. It's not that big of a difference. I really doubt we needed all six settings, but it's probably for them to brag about how many settings they have. Oh, it is almost just touching the magnet. Wait, I have to put all of these on six. Okay, this thing isn't actually too bad once you press it on a table like this. So uh, this setting uh, changing thing I actually like. Everything's on six. This, this feels insane. <laughs> the magnets are so strong. It's taking over my turns so often. Here, take a look at this. It really hates being misaligned actually anywhere. Whoa. So just a physics lesson for you guys. It's not moving right now because it's static, but if you make it kinetic friction, like just move something a little bit, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't wanna do this right now. I'm sure it says how to do this stuff in the instructions and this combined with my how to customize your cube video is probably enough for you to figure out how to do this on your own cube. I think we'll have to put this away for now. I can't give you all my thoughts on this cube right from the unboxing. I will use it a bit and try the different settings and maybe come back at you with a different video. Also, if you were wondering why there was no video for a while and it took me so long to get to the GAN 13, I learned how to scuba dive and I solved a cube underwater. And then right afterwards, I went to the Speed Cube Shop Fall Open event. So yeah, it was a very, very busy month. I got this at Speed Cube Shop. Now all of the signs that used to say Las Vegas there all say Speed Cube Shop. It is the main attraction of Vegas. Also, if you want a preview of my video covering my trip to Vegas, my JBerm cubes got destroyed. I have never had a cube get this scratched up. It actually looks and feels a lot worse in person. It literally feels like there's sand on my cube right now. If you want to find out what happened, subscribe, but I got two new JBerm cubes. It was really nice having it made right in front of me and not having to wait for shipping times. <laughs> oh, I got trolled. Oh, this cube is so good. I also got some mats at Speed Cube Shop. We have three incredibly original designs here. And of course, the Christmas mat and the Christmas cube. What an amazing one. This has to be my favorite holiday cube. Of course, opening penguin side first. We have a polar bear, gingerbread man, penguin, elf, Santa, and reindeer. This one is not Rudolph. I didn't study these at all, but the penguin side is orange. So we're gonna cheat a little bit and just start solving orange pieces, okay? So this is part of the penguin for sure. I just, I don't know where that's supposed to go. I think that's the right spot. And then I need uh, two more cross pieces on the penguin side. Uh, oh, ooh, this one, this one's orange. Okay, that goes at the top of the penguin. Um, like that. Oh, there's the bottom of the penguin. Okay. Oh, I forgot the other centers though. So these centers are gonna have to match as well. Um, so this is here maybe? Uh, no, it's like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go align the centers around the cross. So if this is over here, I think I need to flip this one 180. So I'm gonna move the other cross pieces away and come back like that. I think that looks good. And then this side, oh, that looks funny, but uh, is it like that? Yep. And then this looks correct. And the polar bear, I'm not sure. I think that's right. Okay, I've got this center and all the centers around it. Now we're gonna go on to first layer. Uh, I need to find orange pieces like this one. This is also blue and green, so it's gotta go over here. And, uh... oh no, I, I'm just realizing how bad I am at solving picture cubes. I rarely, rarely do it but uh, it is definitely really fun because it feels a lot more satisfying once you've got it complete. So there's the penguin side and I've solved all the first layer around it as well. So now I need to find non-Santa pieces. <laughs> light green, I think light green is the Santa side because I'm not seeing it around here. So I need to find non-light green pieces. Uh, this one is red and beige. I'm just looking at what's not in the picture. So red goes here and beige goes this way. So beginner method and there we go. This one's clearly elf and reindeer. So we're gonna set it on top of the elf and put it on the reindeer side. Gingerbread and polar bear, uh, like that. And then last one we have here, I think this is just a flip. Let's see, okay. I believe I have solved the first two layers. Let's go. Okay, now we need the last layer. So we're just gonna do OLLPLL and ignore the fact that the center may be twisted. So I'm looking at light green pieces, which is these, and we're gonna do this OLL. And then let's see, this one goes here. This is a Z perm, uh, like that. And Santa needs to twist. So, oh, my algorithm also twisted the elf. So I'm gonna do, 
And this one, and this one, oh no. This one's 180, we can do the 180 twist algorithm. Oh, the polar bear is just 180, okay, never mind. There we go. And then Santa and the elf can be fixed together. We just have to twist Santa, move the elf center up, undo. And I think that, nope, that's 180 again. <laughs> there we go, I think we are done. Yeah, I'm like really not good at picture cubes. <laughs> so Speed Cube Shop also gave me a bunch of bags, Polar Bear, Reindeer, Penguin, and Speed Cube Shop. So obviously we are going to take the penguin. We're gonna put this cube in the bag and I'm gonna give it to myself for Christmas. If you wanna improve your picture cube skills, this stuff is all on Speed Cube Shop. Use the discount code JPERM. Next up, Shangshou 4x4 and 5x5. I wish I knew what was going on with this company's name. I will keep calling it Shangshou because that is the Chinese name. And I don't even know how to pronounce this. I've never heard anybody say this. Okay, let's see if this is any good. Tensions feel a little tight. Nothing that couldn't be fixed with a screwdriver. Wow, this actually isn't bad because I'm usually not expecting these random Shangshou cubes to be any good. Let's try the parity algorithm. Okay, uh, not the best, but it if you get used to turning this thing, I think you absolutely could get some pretty good times. It can actually kind of corner cut. Shangshou, good job. Okay, I've loosened it a bit. It is actually quite loose now. I just wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt because usually I just kind of dismiss these cubes, but this one is actually pretty good to turn. Is it amazing? I don't think so. I'm still making a lot of mistakes because I think the corner cutting is just not as good as some of the better cubes. So this cube is definitely not going to be like flagship main material, but I think that for a budget option, if you have this cube, I think it's not really gonna limit your potential. But uh, if you were just going to buy a cube, I recommend getting a better one, like maybe the JPerm 4x4. Although this is not bad, so if you're using this and you're not good at 4x4, it's because you're not good at 4x4, it's not because of the cube. Five by five time. Somehow I usually have higher expectations for a five by five, just cause I've felt so many bad 4x4s before and 5x5s tend to be kind of okay. Wow, how did Changshou do this? Why does it look almost identical to another cube? Let's try the parody. <laughs> yeah, maybe not as good as I first thought. So this 5x5 is also quite good. It's just probably gonna be like under the best cubes, not quite that good. You guys have seen me try to turn big cubes before that are actually not good out of the box and this is way better. Obviously I am turning so well right now, but still having my fair share of lockups. Oh, and I almost forgot Speed Cube Shop sent me this new design for their cube cover. I think you put it together like this. Great, now I can cover my cubes. Thank you guys for being patient during my vacation and I have a lot of videos planned, so get ready for that. All cubes shown here, linked in the description on speedcubeshop.com. Make sure to use the discount code JPERM. It is a free discount. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.